We're here with the guys from ATV World Magazine, and we're at the eastern terminus of the EOTA, the Eastern Ontario Trail Alliance. And we're gonna get on our machines in a few minutes, and we're gonna to head to Sherbet Lake, where tomorrow there's gonna to be a big announcement. But before the big announcement, we're gonna go riding with some local guys, hear their stories, and then we're gonna do some more riding north. What is the EOTA? Eastern Ontario Trails Alliance is a management organization that develops, manages, maintains, and markets comprehensive network of shared use recreational trails for the economic, tourism, and job creation they bring to this area. We're in our 20th year of business and it's grown substantially and uh, sales have went up as well as development and maintenance schedules have went up because of the investment from provincial, municipal, and federal governments. The cooperation between different levels of government is very good. Our budgets have doubled compared uh, to 10 years ago um, to be able to maintain, develop, and manage and market this network for tourism. It's a tourism attraction, it's a destination to come to, and we do have a user pay system. That investment goes back into maintaining trails. At first, we had a lot of resistance to buy into the user pay, but over the years it has successfully grown because they see trails are improving, it costs money, their money is going back into trails, and our growth has occurred in the sales to give us a larger budget to be able to gravel, grade, sign, brush, etc., cetera, for, for maintenance purposes. I'm here working on uh, the Tay Havelock Trail, uh, close to Maberly. Um, doing some ditching, trying to drain uh, a spring uh, flow that can't get away fast enough, so we're just doing a little ditching. A few years back, we brushed these trails uh, quite back, and now lately we've been just mowing once or twice a year just to keep it maintained sort of thing, um, and grading them because over the time the water gets, gets sitting in here and all the four-wheelers get in it and pushes the gravel out, and actually with this here, this is what happened, all the gravel has washed into the ditches, so we're cleaning the ditches back out to maintain the trail again. Bring the trail back to a crown. And we've had lots of feedback, trails are great shape, and uh, we keep the brush mode back and it's starting to come along good, really nice. Saturday morning, we decided to take some of the EOTA trails before the announcement in Charbot Lake at noon. So we're just out here in the woods. We did some great trails today, some tight stuff, up and down, some great, through some water. It was really beautiful. And uh, now we're just about to head back. Thank you everyone. We partner with municipal governments, provincial governments, and federal governments, and we've raised over eight million dollars for trails. And we're continuing. We work very hard to, again, bring partnerships and funding to the table to operate the whole trail system. Thank you. We're here today for the second trail event. Uh, we had one last year as the opening and this is our second and we plan to maybe have these every year and they'll get bigger and better as we go. Today is to celebrate the fact that this trail is an economic development for our community and for the communities that it's attached to. People can get on the trails in Kingston and come to Charbot Lake and then go north or go east-west. So this trail hub is very important to our community and uh, we've been developing it and we'll continue to develop it. 
The EOTA is such a major part of the contribution to this trail system. They have been around a lot of years and times when we thought, oh, what are they ever going to do? Cindy has been an expert at getting funds and getting grants. She has brought more money to the trail system than any other person that I know. But she works at it. She goes to all of the trade shows. She's really a big ambassador for our area. So without EOTA, we wouldn't have as many people, I don't believe. It is important to have trails as a destination because it really impacts the local communities. People buy gas, they might stay overnight, they certainly buy lunches, dinners, that sort of thing. And plus, they are actually enjoying some gobsmacking beauty. We have a lovely, lovely area and the trail is just gorgeous. Well, we just left Charbot Lake in the announcement of some more investment from the EOTA into these trails, which is great news. And now we're on our way to Renfrew, but we keep getting distracted by these great little trails, the sort of offshoot trails that go off the main trail. One of them is just to my right, uh, which we can't wait to try. So we're probably going to get into Renfrew a little later than we expected, but we can't pass this up. In evaluating the, the trail system, I think the thing that takes me back is the diversity. You have, of course, abandoned railway. You have many, many rural roads. You have logging roads. In cases uh, of bush country, there have been countless hundreds of miles of bush trail that have been in place for years and years, both for snowmobiles and ATV, and it's expanding every year. So there's a huge plethora of, of the availability of trails. Uh, you're not just going to run the circle and run the same trail again and again and again. Uh, you can go literally in a different direction every day of the week and, uh, and take in a whole new different set of sights and sounds. And as the urban areas uh, get full, we're not going down the Don Valley in the Bloor here. Uh, we're out where you can just look for miles and miles and miles and maybe all you'll see is wildlife and her beautiful scenery. And so that's something that is certainly missing in the asphalt jungle. So to have, give them an opportunity to come out and uh, recognize the best of man, nature, and, uh, and habitat is magnificent. We have a lot to offer in terms of a natural environment, lakes, and you don't have to be a cottager to enjoy the lakes that we have. Many of them have public access points. Uh, there's, there's just many places to go and uh, there's crown land galore. I mean, you can camp, you can, I mean, if you want outdoor activities, you know, this, this is the area to do it in. And I think ATVers tend to be outdoor enthusiasts. The more the trails are used, the more, the more money is spent locally. But beyond that, also, um, the more people actually get to see what Hastings County and specifically in my case the northern part of Hastings County they get to see what we have to offer. Well here we are, we made it, we're in Renfrew. Yesterday if you remember we started out in Glen Tay, an hour west of Ottawa and we went to Charbot Lake and rode up here this afternoon, had a great ride, and now we need to clean up and get some food, and uh, tomorrow we head back. When municipalities and the province of Ontario purchased important abandoned corridors or other lands, they wanted to see a shared use plan for it. So 
Not any one recreational group is left out or individual, so you have the option to hike, cycle, horseback ride, dog sled, uh, snowmobile, ATV. The shared users are very respectable to each other, hikers and ATVers, cyclists and ATVers, snowmobiles and skiers. They all get along. We have 20 years experience and minimal, minimal uh, conflicts. We have ATV passes and shared use passes at over 50 different uh, dealerships and other accommodations and other services throughout the area as well as online at thetrail.ca. You can purchase a pass online also. This is it. This is the end of the trail. We rode down from Renfrew back to Charbot Lake and then through to Glen Tay where we started on Friday. And we'd really like to encourage you to do the same thing that we did. The trails are beautiful, the scenery is amazing, and the trails are really well marked too, so you can't get lost. So come on out and do what we did.